evening. Welcome to the news at 8. New laws that protect whistleblowers in the fight against corruption went on trial for the first time today. Legislation that shields workers who report corrupt bosses to the authorities was questioned before the Cape Labour Court. The issue was, should whistleblowers be protected from disciplinary action after they've exposed corruption? It all started at this Danel subsidiary in Mitchell's Plain in early November last year. This is where Keith Grieve made several allegations of corruption against certain managers. They included allegations of nepotism, financial irregularities, and the misuse of company assets. Weeks later, he was suspended and told to appear before a disciplinary hearing. Now he's trying to use the new laws at the Cape Labour Court to shield him from that hearing. This is the first time that a court has been asked to actually consider it. And in the long run, what we hope to be able to achieve is greater protection for what are known as whistleblowers and encourage more transparency and accountability in large organizations. Danelle argues that the disciplinary hearing has nothing to do with whistleblowing and claims that Grieve has been downloading pornography from the internet during work hours. He is also charged with allegations of racism and inciting employees against the company and senior management and leaking information to former employees. Judgment has been reserved until next week. Tamba Jacobs, SABC, Cape Town. The corruption saga at Crutflay Prison in the Free State.